checking out videos of this Rick Ross car show for the past few days. They had some nice rides there. Any type of car you went to, they had it. Donks, low riders, muscle cars, OG original classic cars. They had some of everything there, man. Forms, trucks, damn, it's crazy. But, we got some parts in. You know, originally when I dropped the Monte Carlo off over there, Arthur's Automotive, I dropped it off to get the um, real wheel big brake kit. This brake conversion kit um, put on there for the front and the rear and to get the tranny checked out. The tranny wasn't shifting properly. So I took it down there and I checked it out. He told me pretty much the tranny was shot. And not only was the tranny shot, but the rear end was also shot. The gears were ate up in the rear end. You know those um, second gen Monte Carlos, the A body 73 through 77. At least I know my 77. The stock rear end was something like 256 or something like that. And when I got it, the guy that I got it off of, he had um, some 24s on there and didn't change the rear end. So we see what the result of that was. So, getting a brand new rear end put on there, 411 gears, um, new tranny rebuilt, shift kit, torque converter, and then I ordered this um, b and deep dish tranny pan, right here, aluminum. Pretty good, it holds an additional three quarts. To it and it came with this transparent gasket right here. This is the stock one that it came with. Let's see how flimsy this is. But when I ordered this, so I ordered this from Amazon, and when I ordered it off of Amazon, I was seeing recommendations for this more so transparent gasket right here. For 30. Like damn, $30. I'm gonna check it out though. And looking at it now, you see why it's $30. Big difference. Big difference. Solid, man. It's a solid. Like I said, this is about more so. That's the part right there, part number right there. At least for the TH350. Come on. So that one right there and then since they were under there um, checking out the tranny and the disc brakes and all that told me that the uh, had a leak in the radiator so I ended up just going with um, a new aluminum one scrap that out and said man while you're under there we might as well get the suspension together as well so, I ordered this rear QA1 coilovers, single adjustable. I got these from, where did I get these from? I got these from Spawn. Yeah, that's where I got these from. I got these from Spawn. They had great customer service, ASAP shipping, super fast. Um, this is everything that it came with. Gave me this little card, came wrapped up like this. This is how it was, already assembled. Took it out the box. Stuff here. A couple stickers. Bada boom, bada bing. Um, ordered them off of eBay, but through Spawn. And yeah, this little eBay feedback thing and all this stuff. I paid for them. So I paid $6.99 for the rear ones. And then the front ones. Originally, I got the double adjustable. All right, y'all, sorry about that. Ended up having to bring everything down here because I uh, got some more parts in, man, and I wanted to lay everything out and check everything out. And plus, the kids ended up start running around upstairs, so brought everything down here. Um, let's see, what else came in were 
the front and rear sway bars from Spawn. All right, big boy sway bars, probably overkill sway bars to keep it real with you. Uh, the front sway bar is an inch and five sixteenths. Yeah, big boy, heavy. The rear one is an um, inch and a half. I got the rear one over there, it's still in the box. Uh, so what happened was they ended up sending me the wrong color for the rear one. They ended up sending me a black one. So I gave Spawn a call and their customer service was A1 on point. Dude told me um, what he would do was send me a red one out today and send me a return shipping label for the black one. So whenever the red one come, whenever I get the red one, I could just send him the black one back and do it like that, which was cool. So shout out to Spawn, man, because that customer service been A1 since I've been dealing with Spawn for real. Shout out to Spawn. Shout out to Spawn. Um, back to the suspension. We went over the back, the rear suspension, uh, front suspension, QA1 also. Originally, when I ordered it, I ended up going with the uh, double adjustable QA1s, the Pros, and they were A1790. I ordered them through Speedway. Probably about two weeks after I ordered them, I got an email from Speedway saying that they wouldn't be shipped out until July 11th. Originally, I had an estimated delivery date of June 2nd. So I'm like, damn, they're not going to be shipped out until July 11th. That ain't going to work for me. So I gave Speedway a call, do that customer service. Um, he looked up the stock, the inventory, and he let me know what they had that would fit a 73-77 MC. And the only thing that he had in stock was, the, uh, they were pros, they're pros, but they're just single adjustable. They're not double adjustable, which is cool. You know, the only thing, the only difference between the double adjustable and a single adjustable is with the double adjustable, you can control your compression and rebound independently. With the single adjustable, when you go negative or positive, firm or soft, you're doing that with the compression and the rebound together. So that's the only thing. But it's still, it's going to be cool for me, man. It's just a little street toy, something to mess around with. You know, it ain't like no competition or nothing like that. It should be cool. Uh, let's see what else. We got the deep dish training pan over there. Went over that. Um, that big, thick, heavy morsel gasket. Showed y'all that. What else we got? Oh. Uh, the Black Widows, my Widows came, man. The exhaust came. The Black Widows, I got the Widow Makers, the 10 inches, two and a half inlet outlet. Check this out. Damn, they're straight through. Damn, they're straight through. Nothing restricting that. So you know it's gonna be a, it's gonna be kind of aggressive, but it's not the most aggressive one that Black Widow make. The most aggressive one the Black Widow make is the um. Uh, what's what's the most aggressive one they got, man? Uh, neighbor hater. That's the most aggressive one they got. So this is the one that's right underneath that. So we see how that sound once we get it hooked up under there. And it came with a little Hot Wheels toy, a little Chef Bel Air, and the usual stuff that they send you. Stickers, window decals, instructions. This here. Oh, this is the hardware for the uh, for the sways, man. The poly bushes and everything that they send you. The spawn sends with their sway bars. So, yeah. Also, also. Oh, my hood insulation kit covers came in. Trunk and hood. So these go over the insulation of the trunk and hood. And she put the insulation in there. Snap these over the front of them. And boom. So when I ordered them, man, I ordered them both with the Monte Carlo script. And then about a week or so after, I put my order in, they shot me an email saying that they were discontinuing the hood one with the Monte Carlo script for the 73 to 77 Monte Carlo, which is crazy. It's like the 73 to 77 Monte Carlo, they don't get no love really on nothing. On nothing, man. It'd be hard to find parts or aftermarket parts. 
customization parts for that 73 through 77 Monte Carlo. We just got the digital dash gauges, man. It's crazy. We like the um, redhead stepchild. But, so that's why I ended up ordering this one. The Chevy 350 one, the hood one. And I'm probably going to spray them. Probably end up spraying them the same color as the MC. Like that brandy wine maroonish color. And slap them on there. But now, but now, about to get all this stuff packed up. Take it over to Arthur's. Now that we got everything that we needed, minus the rear sway bar, which probably be here like Tuesday or something like that. A few days, it's Friday now. It'll probably be here like Tuesday or Wednesday because it's coming from Pennsylvania. Get all this stuff packed up and took over there and see how long the guesstimation of when they think it's gonna be done. Hopefully we have everything done. It be ready to rock by my birthday, man, by July 6th, man. As you know, originally when I took it down there, I took it down there to get the uh, tranny took checked out and the big brake kit put on there. The wheel was, the front and rear wheel was put on there. And they gave me a holler back, told me that, man, your tranny shot. The tranny is shot. It was shifting funny. I pretty much figured that it was shot, man, because it was, it was a hard shift just to get it out of first. You know what I mean? So I'm like, oh yeah, it's over. It's over. She need a rebuild. Um, well, I said when I got the MC, the guy that had it, that I got it off of, he had some 24s on there. Some cast 24s, too. Like, you know, the old heavy cast 24s. They wasn't no forged or nothing like that. So, you know, they heavy. And then the gears that's on the 77 MC, them old two, 256s, man. Them heavy ass old 24s ate them gears up, man. So we got the gears in the rear end, the whole rear end being rebuilt, the suspension being done, tranny being done, four elevens in the rear, posi in the rear. Um, yeah, yeah, should feel like a whole new car, really. It's gonna be like a whole new car when they get up out of there, cause everything under there will stop. Everything under there will stop. Now we got the QA ones. Front and rear coilovers, adjustables, both adjustables, front and rear sway bars. Um, whole new car. Whole new car. And we got the Pontiac over there. GV over there. The battery charging up on the GV. But it's, it's crazy, though, that the Pontiacs, at least these g at least the 75s, don't be getting love like that. And they only made 4,519 of these. It's way less 75 Pontiac Granvilles than it is Dunks. And they don't be messing with them Pontiacs like that. They don't mess with the Pontiacs like that, man. Well, I got a homeboy that's a Pontiac lover, though. He didn't have this clean ass Parisi since we was in high school, man. Alright, let's get this stuff wrapped up, man. Tap back in with y'all once we get up to Arthur's and see what they talking about up there.